Well, State Senator Greg Hembree pre-filed a bill that could continue the use of lethal injection for the death penalty in South Carolina and also protect the companies that make the drugs. News 13's Julia Kennedy is live in our newsroom right now after speaking with the senator about what this legislation would do. Julia? Megan, Bob, the shield law is what Senator Greg Hembree is calling this bill. It would shield companies that supply the drugs for lethal injection from the public view. Many drug companies fear that having their identity exposed as the creator of a lethal injection drug could ruin their reputation and be put off by the public. The purpose of this bill is to withhold the privacy of these drug companies. We've not been able to use lethal injection as a means of, of execution in South Carolina for over 10 years because we haven't been able to get the drugs. The state of South Carolina is still struggling to get the lethal injection drug. If this bill passes, it would increase the likelihood of drug companies to start producing the drug again. There are provisions in the law that if good cause is shown, it would allow an exception to revealing the drug company's identity. Let's say that somebody brings a lawsuit against the Debar Department of Corrections for the purpose if there was a botched execution, right? And, you, and if that were to happen, and then you would be, then, then you could show good cause why that should be revealed at least to those parties that are interested. So there, is, there are some exceptions to um, allow due, due process of law. There are currently 36 inmates on the state of South Carolina's death row, with three of them being from Horry County. James Bryant III, Jerome Jenkins Jr., and Lewis Winkler. Because the state has been unable to get the drugs, firing squad and electrocution are the only other two means of execution. If we're able to pass the shield law, we will be able to, to use um, the lethal, use lethal injection as a means of execution in South Carolina. Uh, we have a means of execution right now that's being litigated, but uh, hopefully we have not put anybody to death in South Carolina for over a decade. Senator Hembree is alone in sponsoring this bill, and it's set to be referred to the Committee on Corrections and Penology. Reporting live in the newsroom, Julie Kennedy, News 13.